Malibu is known for its stars, Leo Carrillo State Park is known for its sea stars. Visited by over 800,000 families and school children every year, they come for the marine biodiversity, they come for the kelp forests and the seabirds, and of course our favorite sea stars. Hello, my name is Alana Jamison and I attend Pepperdine University in Malibu, California. Today I'm here at Leo Carrillo State Park in Malibu, California. These rocks are usually homes to hundreds and hundreds of sea stars, and yet today we cannot even find a single one. Something very wrong is happening here. A disease epidemic is sweeping across the western coast of North America, killing nearly all sea stars in its path. Sea stars are known for their resilience. They are able to regenerate damaged limbs, but because this disease moves so fast, even they are unable to combat the effects. Individuals are developing lesions, becoming unable to grasp onto the rocks, and subsequently are being torn apart by the wave action. Populations that were flourishing two months ago now don't even exist. Sea stars are important animals in the marine ecosystem. They eat mussels, and by keeping their populations in check, they allow other invertebrates like limpets and anemones flourish. California State Parks Ranger Marie Lindsay has been following this outbreak since January. We spoke with her earlier about what she has seen and what she hopes for the future. Visitors come to the park year after year. They bring their children. Tide pooling is a highlight of a visit. And I'm not sure how to start telling them or how to answer the questions when they say, where are the sea stars? One star we found actually had a lesion or wound on, the, um, on its back and it had eroded through the skeleton so that the stomach lining was coming out of the back of the animal. Um, very common to see animals missing one or two arms. Um, it appears that after they've lost one arm, they're able to pinch the wound closed. But if they've lost two arms next to each other, then um, there's an opening into their body cavity and you see their guts and their gonads spilling out. In January, the first symptoms were seen. Over 800 sea stars were counted, with about 10% of these showing signs of the disease. A few weeks later in February, less than 500 individuals were counted. Of these, 40% showed signs of the illness. Although some stars were seen in groups, the majority were found alone or with only one other star. A storm blew in during March, and the disease seemed to progress drastically. On March 12th, only 15 sea stars were counted. All individuals were found alone and half showed signs of disease. This is a population decrease of over 98%. A variety of sea life scavenged the graveyards of dying stars. Hermit crabs feasted on carcasses while seagulls picked through individuals both dead and alive. By April, no adult sea stars remained. 100% of counted individuals were gone. All that remained were a handful of young stars. How does this make you feel? I think watching the sea stars disappear in such a quick way, basically we went from um, a population of six sea stars, 20%, 30%, to 90% of the population missing. I think it makes me wonder about the health of our ocean overall. And is there something, is the sea star our canary in the coal mine? Is it our canary of the ocean telling us that there's something more and bigger wrong with the ocean? Although it may seem too late, there have been a few baby stars found in the tide pools. This is where the hope for these animals remain. It is our job to protect the few individuals left for the future, but only if we heed their warning. People are noticing. They're noticing their favorite animal is gone almost overnight with, with no warning. It's not like it's an El Nino thing, you know. It's, it seems like the kelp guys are doing so well. I've never seen anything like this before. 